Homeless Man Finds Hope Once upon a time, in a bustling city, there lived a man named Samuel. He was once an ambitious and hard-working individual who had dreams of achieving great things. However, life took an unexpected turn for him, leading him down a path of homelessness. Samuel had a promising career as a software engineer, but the economic recession hit the company he worked for hard, and he was laid off along with many others. Unable to find another job in his field, he struggled to make ends meet. Without a steady income, he soon fell behind on his rent and was eventually evicted from his apartment. With no family or friends to turn to for support, Samuel found himself alone on the streets. He carried a small backpack containing his few remaining possessions a worn-out blanket, a tattered notebook, and a photograph of his parents. Life on the streets was tough and unforgiving. Samuel faced daily struggles to find food, stay warm, and protect himself from the dangers of the city. He experienced the harsh reality of being invisible to most passers-by who hurriedly walked by without even acknowledging his existence. Despite his circumstances, Samuel refused to give up hope. He spent his days visiting public libraries, where he could access the internet and learn new skills to keep his mind engaged. He read books on various subjects, taught himself programming languages, and expanded his knowledge. One day, while sitting outside a cafe Samuel met a compassionate young woman named Emily. She worked as a social worker and had dedicated her life to helping those in need. Intrigued by Samuel's determination and intelligence, she struck up a conversation with him. Emily listened to Samuel's story, and her heart went out to him. She saw his potential and believed he deserved a second chance. Determined to make a difference in his life, she connected Samuel with a local shelter that offered job training programs and assistance in finding employment. With Emily's support and the resources provided by the shelter, Samuel began rebuilding his life. He attended vocational training classes, refreshed his coding skills, and regained his confidence. His hard work and dedication paid off when he landed a job as a junior software developer at a tech startup. As Samuel settled into his new job and regained stability in his life, he never forgot the struggles he had faced or the people who had helped him along the way. He became an advocate for the homeless, volunteering at shelters, and sharing his story to raise awareness about the challenges they faced. Over time, Samuel's determination and talent propelled him forward in his career. He started his own software development company, creating job opportunities for other individuals who had experienced homelessness. He established a foundation to support education and training programs for those seeking to rebuild their lives. Just as he had done, Samuel's story serves as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, with the right support and determination it is possible to overcome adversity. He became a symbol of hope and resilience inspiring others to believe in their own potential and reminding society to see the person behind the label of homelessness. Amir's Inspiring Refuge Once upon a time, in a war-torn country called Azuria, there lived a young boy named Amir. Azuria had been engulfed in conflict for years, leaving its people devastated and desperate for safety. Amir's peaceful village was Caught in the crossfire, forcing his family to flee their home in search of refuge, Amir's parents, Fatima and Ahmed, made the difficult decision to leave everything behind in the hope of a better future for their children. With heavy hearts, they packed a few belongings and embarked on a treacherous journey, joining the thousands of others seeking asylum in neighboring countries. The family's journey was fraught with danger and uncertainty. They traveled by foot, facing harsh weather conditions, hunger, and the constant fear of being discovered by armed groups. Their nights were spent huddled together in makeshift shelters, dreaming of a life free from violence and despair. After weeks of enduring hardship, 
The family finally arrived at a refugee camp on the border of a neighboring country. The camp was crowded with people from different backgrounds, all seeking safety and a chance to rebuild their lives. Despite the difficult living conditions, Amir was relieved to be in a place where they were at least protected from the immediate threat of violence. Life in the camp was challenging, but it brought a sense of solidarity among the refugees. Amir and his siblings made friends with other children, and together they created a small community of hope and resilience. They played games, shared stories of their homes, and supported one another through the hardships they faced. Amir's parents, determined to provide their children with an education, sought out the camp school. Although resources were limited, dedicated volunteers worked tirelessly to provide basic education to the children. Amir eagerly attended classes, cherishing the opportunity to learn and expand his horizons. As time passed, news arrived that a neighboring country was accepting refugees and offering them a chance to resettle and rebuild their lives. The family seized the opportunity and underwent a rigorous vetting process. After months of waiting and uncertainty, they received the news they had been hoping for they were granted resettlement. Amir and his family arrived in their new host country with a mix of excitement and apprehension. They were greeted by a team of compassionate locals and volunteers who guided them through the process of integration. They were provided with temporary accommodation, access to health care, and assistance in finding employment. Amir quickly adapted to his new surroundings and embraced the opportunities that came his way. He excelled in school, honing his language skills, and discovering his passion for storytelling. With the support of his teachers and mentors, Amir found his voice and began sharing his refugee experience through writing. His stories touched the hearts of many, raising awareness about the plight of refugees and inspiring others to take action. Amir became an advocate for refugee rights, speaking at conferences and engaging with policymakers to create positive change for displaced people around the world. As Amir grew older, he continued to use his voice and platform to amplify the voices of refugees and promote understanding and compassion. His resilience, determination, an unwavering spirit made him a beacon of hope for millions, reminding the world that behind every refugee, there is a story of strength, courage, and the universal desire for a better life. Grieving Orphan Finds Once upon a time, in a small village nestled among lush green fields, there lived a young girl named Lily. Lily was an orphan who had lost her parents at a tender age and was raised by her elderly grandmother. Despite the hardships they faced, Lily and her grandmother shared a deep bond and found solace in each other's company. Life in the village was simple but filled with warmth and love. Lily's grandmother worked tirelessly as a seamstress, sewing clothes for the villagers to make ends meet. She taught Lily the art of sewing, passing on her skills and wisdom to the young girl. However, tragedy struck when Lily's grandmother fell severely ill. The village lacked proper medical facilities, and there was no doctor nearby to provide the care she desperately needed. Lily, overwhelmed with worry, did everything she could to nurse her grandmother back to health. She brewed herbal remedies, comforted her in moments of pain, and never left her side. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but Lily's grandmother's condition continued to deteriorate. Lily, with tears streaming down her face, watched as the life slowly faded from her beloved grandmother's eyes. She was consumed by grief, feeling utterly alone in the world. With her grandmother's passing, Lily found herself utterly destitute. The villagers sympathized with her loss but were unable to offer any significant assistance. Left with no choice, Lily sold her meager belongings, including her grandmother's sewing machine, to survive. As the days passed, Lily struggled to find work and a place to call home. 
The villagers, once kind and compassionate, turned a blind eye to her suffering. Lily was forced to wander the streets, her heart heavy with sorrow and her stomach empty. She yearned for the warmth and love she had lost, longing for her grandmother's comforting presence. In the depths of her despair, Lily's health began to decline. Malnutrition and the harshness of the streets took their toll on her fragile body. She grew weaker with each passing day finding solace only in her memories of her grandmother and the dreams of a better life they had once shared. One fateful night, as the bitter cold wind swept through the village, Lily succumbed to her illness. She was found the next morning, lying motionless on a park bench, her face peaceful as if she had finally found the peace she had longed for. The villagers, upon learning of Lily's tragic fate, were filled with remorse and regret. They realized too late the extent of her suffering and the kindness they had withheld from her. Guilt washed over them as they realized that their indifference had contributed to the untimely demise of a young girl who had already experienced so much loss. Lily's story serves as a poignant reminder of the power of compassion and the consequences of turning a blind eye to those in need. It reminds us that even the smallest acts of kindness can make a world of difference in someone's life. May her memory serve as a call to action, inspiring us to extend a helping hand to those who are vulnerable and in despair. Hey.